everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my favorite easy thing to make for 3D printing. Medallions, necklaces, whatever you're going to call them. Let's get on with it! I love making this because it's super simple. All you need is a text program and a 3D modeling program. First things first, we're going to find a font that we like. I like writing out what I want to write and then testing out a bunch of different fonts. For 3D printing, you want to find a font that's really well joined together. In this case, I chose this font, and then I switched the dots and the eyes with stars. And then I moved the lettering over so that it would join well together. I fixed some of the edges that I didn't like, and I merged the entire thing together. Also fixed some spots that I wanted to be hollow. I made sure that the whole thing was merged and then I made holes for my necklaces. This is for the attachments to go through. I try to make these no smaller than 1 16th for 3D printing. I actually forgot that I was going to resize this smaller so then I had to make another dot and check but it was pretty much the right size. In my case I use SolidWorks. Whatever software you use there are a couple free ones. All you're going to do is pop it in and extrude it by 0.2 of an inch. Perfect. I then spent a really long time trying to fillet the edges of it because that would make it nice and soft. I couldn't make that happen because it was too small. That's okay, we're going to stick with what we got here. When I was my 3D printer and started printing it. This actually only took 45 minutes to print. I just got this thing, so I was super psyched to do a first sort of test print. And this is so easy to do because you don't need to make any supports for the material. If you don't have a 3D printer, your local library might have one. You probably have a friend who has one. Cool. Done! Yay! Uh-huh! Wow, this feels nice. Light and flexible. Yay! Very cool. The surface was too scratchy, so we're going to sand that off in a little bit. But first we want to check if our jewelry loops fit inside the little holes. They do, but I needed a little bigger ones to fit inside. I decided to use a safety pin to stretch out the holes a little bit, and then I actually had a couple bigger loops that I'd had lying around in that thing. So I took those off, and I sanded my 3D print. Made sure that I got out any gunk from the holes, rinsed it off, stuck some toothpicks in it to hold it off the ground, and now we're gonna spray paint it. Unfortunately, the exact spray paint that I wanted to use, the nozzle had fallen off of it. So I sold the nozzle from another one. Nice. And tried to wonkily spray paint with it. It worked, not super well, but it worked. This wasn't perfect, <laughs> normally I would spray paint more, but it's good enough. Three nail polish. First, I wanted to show off my solo lights, which make me super happy, and then add a glass coat. That's not the right stuff. Perfect. Now let's build the joy part. I already had a necklace that I made for something else, but we needed two separate pieces. So I bent it in half and cut off the middle. Now I'm going to put clips on the ends of those pieces and then thread the little rings through the clips. I also threaded the big rings through my necklace piece and attached the whole thing together. Ta-da! I love it. Super fun, super easy way to make something that's totally customized and personalized for you. It's a really easy thing to 3D print and it's a really easy thing to design, especially for your first 3D print. I'm glad I got to test out my brand new printer with this. If you like this video, if you found it fun, interesting, helpful, informative, whatever, I hope you stick around and subscribe down below and give us a like. Let me know what you thought. Wherever you are, I hope you're having the best day that you possibly can. Be kind to the people around you. And thanks for hanging out.